Good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. My name is Bobby. This is my channel. <laughs> this is my truth. And this is my Dharma, who is also the ultimate truth. That's what I call my vehicle, Dharma. Everybody, when you buy your vehicle, you should always name it. I usually choose a woman's name because it's like good luck to choose. I think of it as like a boat. When you're buying a boat, they'd always name it. And it's supposed to be good luck. So every vehicle I've had, I've named. Like my VW bus, I had a 69 VW bus, which was sweet. And I called her Janice. And after, after Janice Joplin. And this is Dharma, the ultimate truth. And that's what I'm in search of. And we're going to go back to the self-healing. Ah, I'm sorry about that. The last couple of videos, it's just, it's what it is, right? The world is what it is, and I had to get that out. It was like, as much as I'm into, you know, the universe and God wants me to heal myself and do my thing, they also want me to still do my job, which is kind of that. Trying to help people and guide people and let people know truth from bullshit, I guess, but... The interesting thing I was thinking about is, you know, like I said, I'm still healing, I'm still learning, you know, it's kind of like coming out of the battle and you've got all these scars and, you know, you just gonna, it's, you need time to heal and for the next battle anyway. And that's kind of what I'm, I've been through the physical battles, the mental battles, but now I'm getting into the spiritual battles and that's the tough part. Because you can heal, it's, 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 if you, like, if you get punched in the face, you know you got punched in the face, you go heal or whatever, you know what I mean, whatever. But when you're getting spiritually attacked, a lot of times you don't realize you're being attacked and you don't understand the side effects until afterwards. So it's important to kind of get that out of the way and understand where you're at and, you know, if you're currently under attack, to be able to block it and to counter, you know, transmute it and send love and light to the people that are hurting you and, that's how you do it, with love, not with hate. That's how that works, right? Anyways, I thought it was curious because I was like surrounded. In, in Medford, I love my babies, but there was so much chaos and drama. Neighbors yelling and screaming. It was, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, it was really bad. And I was just like, oh, I don't want my grandbabies around that. But, like, I'm in no position financially to get my babies out of there. So I have to work on me, of course. And so I'm trying to get me going and get my art going and all that stuff so that way I can make some money and maybe help, you know, get them a little bit. They need to get out of that place. But my point is, is it affected me a lot. It was draining me hard. It was really bad. And I needed to get away. And normally it was the desert. That was in, it works great for me out there. BLM is amazing because you just go out there and park and nobody's going to bug you for 14 days. Here it's a little more testy. I'm like, I'm pushing it a little bit. But at Boiler Bay, there's just a drive through bathroom, parking lot. Nobody really cares. As long as you're not, you know, building a foundation or setting up tents or starting a fire or something. But my point is, is I thought it was interesting. This is how God and the universe work, right? Healing and part of the energies and part of the, the process is he, when you're healing is a bath. Soothing baths. Water is a very healing property. That's why when you... It's, it's like when you need a salt cleanse, when you're really having a bad day and you're around a bunch of toxic energies, you go home, you take a bubble bath, and that will literally drain the energies away. It will, it'll, it, I don't know how it works, but water is an amazing healing property. And I am at the ocean, as you can see. It's kind of rough right now. I'm dealing with the Pineapple Express. It's been, and that was my point. I got here right before the storm hit. It's been raining hard ever since and windy. So I've been stuck in my little capsule, you know. Thank God there's a bathroom over here, but yeah. But I need to, I'm gonna have to do a shower soon. And that's another thing about when you travel around, if you're not exercising too hard, the bathing's not a big problem at first, but eventually I'm gonna have to bathe. That's important. But, but when you see, I see like, when I was out in the desert and I'd see these people jogging every morning, knowing that they're out in the middle of nowhere and there's no bathing or I was like okay as long as you're whore bathing that stuff or because a lot of these people are in cars or you know trucks and stuff and they're not really equipped for a shower so I don't know how they do it but the less you exercise the it's better for you trust me because you're not going to stink up the place two days oh, can you imagine you know if you just go work out and you get all sweaty and to not shower after that yeah it's pretty nasty 
So <clears throat> tips of traveling, the less exercise you do, the less you're going to be funky. Go figure. But that wasn't my point anyway. Just throwing out tips if I can help it. But yeah, I'm at the ocean and part of my cleansing and I'm, I'm doing it right now. It's last three days have been just me in isolation, enjoying the, enjoying the silence. Uh, except for this, you know, all the outside chaos that I had to absorb and try to transmute. So I'm going back to healing myself. Um, the next couple days I'm going to be in Newport and I'm going to be playing in the sand. I'm going to, I'm going to do my, um, water cleansing. That's the, that's the way I'm going to look at this. That's how you have to look at it when you're, like I said, when you're surrounded by toxic people and you need to get it out and get away from them, take a bath, take a shower, some hot shower does it every time, right? So I'm going to go play in the ocean. I'm going to spend the next couple of days just walking on the sand, looking for shells and, you know, prepare for the weekend. It's supposed to be nice and sunny in Newport, fingers crossed, and then I'll be able to sell my art at the beach right there. It's beautiful. Newport's a beautiful town. Like I said, it's my one of my. It's gonna be my summer home. So I'm gonna see about getting a job too here. I don't know. We'll figure that out. As long as I don't have to wear a mask, because I don't do that. That's horrible. It's just so unnatural, by the way. So, anyways, I just thought it's important for you to understand about cleansing and water and how amazing water can be and how God and the universe has blessed me with ability to be here. At the ocean in a beautiful spot by the way this isn't just any spot this is a beautiful spot this would be like a million dollar home kind of view <laughs> so I'm, I'm very blessed to be here and I'm looking forward to going to Newport and trying to make some sales so I can get some more money so I can keep my laundry and my showers going and my gas full and my belly full and see what happens anyways I love you God loves you and the universe is just digging you so just like me so, have a wonderful day, and I love you. I already said that. Huh? I'm such a flirt. Okay. Have a, I'm out of here. There's the ocean. Goodbye. Okay,